the meme wall is back. Woo! I know how much all my viewers missed it, you know, all 12 of you. I got rid of it for a while because I wanted to rearrange my room. Um, turns out there's nowhere else for my desk to go. Yeah, it's, it, I put it back up. There's a couple new ones, a couple old ones. This is Kanye, as you all remember. I, Kanye was one of the OGs. I lost the original picture. This is a picture of my beautiful girlfriend. This is Andrew Tate, Denzel Washington, George Washington. That's how big your mom's ass was. Nana, Ryan Gosling, and my uncle. All right, now that I've like sufficiently weirded out everyone that watches my videos, I want to talk about this guy that I found like a month or so ago. He's one of those alpha male gurus. I briefly talked about Sigma males in a really old video of mine. It's bad, don't watch it. But I never really talked about the philosophy behind Sigma males and alpha males. They're kind of the same thing, but they both have one really big thing in common. And that is they're both incredibly creepy and misogynistic. Okay, two things. I'm sorry, I was never good with my alphabet. Something I want to just say really briefly. Um, if you think that by treating women like objects, you're gonna get laid, you're wrong. Maybe I'm like some ultra feminist that thinks that all men should get vasectomies. Maybe, here's the more realistic thing. I, I treat other people with like respect. Just, just thinking out loud here. I'd be pretty creeped out if women were like trying to look into my mind and find the best way to get in my pants. Um, that's what the alpha male dating gurus do. They try to like find like cheat codes to getting pussy. Um, none of them work. There, there's one specific alpha male dating guru that I want to look at today, and I, you know, his name's not important. Who he is isn't important. Please don't go and harass him. But if you do see him, shoot a spitball him because he deserves it. He is really creepy. Um, Moist Critical made a video about him. I don't know how long ago, but that's what introduced me to this culture on the internet. This Moist Critical, and, you know, him talking about him, you know, making fun of him. That's what I want to do today. So, I mean, I'm gonna show you guys a couple of the videos that this guy makes on TikTok. They're pretty unhinged. Going off the last video, here's a converse, here's a sentence that I hear from most women when it has to do with any type of fancy or <laughs> or anything like that. I tell you what to do, but you won't do it. Teach what? What? I tell you what to do, but you won't do it. Hold on, let me. I'll just let him cook. I'll just let him cook. I teach guys how to understand the female mind. <laughs> now, for that sentence, I can tell you that a woman is at the utmost frustration in the world. You could have her go grocery shopping for all the brands to bring back to the house that she normally did, and they could be all sold out, which would cause immense frustration. Oh no. What ever will the women do their favorite brand of cereals out? <laughs> oh, she's gonna snap my dick off like a celery stone. Oh, it's over. Oh, no. And that frustration would not even amount to one eighteenth of the frustration of that sentence that I just quoted. It's a very specific number. <laughs> Girls don't want to have to say that in the first place. They want you to understand and read it from them. That's why I do so good with women, by the way. He doesn't do good with women. I can tell you right now, this man has zero pussy. With that being said, I just gave you a nugget of wisdom that most people on this planet don't understand. So do with it as you will. There was nothing wise about that one minute and eight seconds. The reason you don't like me is not because you don't believe that I actually get what I say I do. You don't like me because you don't believe that you can get what I say I have. He's absolutely right. I will never have what this man says he has. I will never be just, I will never be able to just look at a woman and say, hey, sex? And have my dick set. You know, it just does. I'll never have that. I'm not that guy. And neither is he. And that's the flaw. That's the reason why I disrespect you and I hate you and I find you disgusting. Uh, disgusting? What? I'm not the grown ass man making calling himself Alpha Dom on the internet. <laughs> when was the last time you showered, sir? For me, it was last night. For you, it was probably last year. I don't. I don't want to hear this 
nonsense that like I'm disgusting or he's or someone's disgusting. Other anyone other than him. Thousand women and currently have sex, you can as well. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. If this fucking face can get over a thousand women and currently have sex, you can as well. At least he's self-conscious. <laughs> At least he's aware that he's ugly. <laughs> I, I hate making fun of people for their looks, but hey, hey he, he started this. You know, he, he openly admitted that he's an ugly guy. Over a thousand women and currently have sex. This man has not slept with a thousand women. I can tell you as a certified critical thinker that this man has not slept with a thousand women. He has even slept with one woman. But the issue is deep down the fucking <coughs> recesses of your mind, you heard some fucking bullshit fucking rumor. Jimmy, stop saying fucking get to the damn point. <laughs> I meant to do that. Oh, is he playing Valorant? Hey, what you doing out here with all this ass? Double cheeked up. On a Thursday afternoon, hella ass, the sun is still out. So in this next clip, this guy tries to make the argument that you have to be conservative and gay women and that liberal men are bad for women, which is ludicrous. Politics has nothing to do with dating. You look for a partner that's caring and loving. So if anyone tries to tell you that a certain political ideology is bad for women, they're wrong. You just want to get that out of the way real quick. Because you what? think you're actually attracting <clears throat> women, but even like I've said before, I fucking pick up women at feminist rallies because I get a rush from it. Saying we hate toxic masculinity, but when I show them what I can do, they fucking love masculinity. No one minds masculine men. They mind is creepy guys like you, I imagine. Like, I just, just saying. You narrow your dating pool down so low because no matter what a woman says, deep down in their fucking programming, they want a male like me. Right. They want someone that will constantly disrespect them and disregard their opinion and argue with them politically and order them to be subservient. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. You want a surefire way to trigger woke liberals? When they ask you what your pronouns are, do as follows. If you're a dude, say, my pronouns are sir, master. Now, this is usually going to work pretty quickly because most of that community... My pronouns are huge slash cock. Can I get a hell yeah? If that doesn't work, what you're going to do immediately after is say, now call me it, because that's what I identify as, and you need to respect it. Get down on their knees, <coughs> place their arms behind their back, spread their legs, and keep their eyes down. If that doesn't work, the next step is to tell them to get down on their knees, place their arms behind their back, spread their legs, and keep their eyes down. Pardon? 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 <laughs> you dearest, darnest, damnest pardon? That's such a huge jump to make from going to respecting pronouns to like demanding that they give you your asshole for doggy style. <laughs> That's such a huge fucking jump. I mean, I did say it pretty loud, but okay. Let's see if I can get the cops called. Men. If you constantly point the Don't yell at me, no! I, I don't know, man. There's a million of these videos. I seriously doubt this man has any girlfriends or has ever had one.
I seriously doubt that he's mentally well. He's very misogynistic. He's very insecure. Don't be like this guy, please. <laughs> I know that might not mean a lot coming from me, you know, the guy that's clearly not great with women. I'm in my parents' basement, for God's sake. Mr. Alpha Nom, I hope you see this. I hope you realize that you're creepy. But this, this, this idea that you have in your brain that that someone said this in one of your comments i think that you value you base your value off of how many women you slept with you're wrong for that this this idea that your worth is based on how many women you slept with or how many women you can sleep with is completely fucking baloney it's it's it's, it's garbage this idea that woke men are you know soy boy wool jacks and they'll never get laid because they they're too busy inverting their penises into vaginas because they want to, you know, not be offensive to women. That's bullshit. The, the idea... Everything this man says is, is weird. It's creepy. It doesn't make any sense. I can barely string together, like, counter arguments to what he's saying because he doesn't make any points. He doesn't say anything with any basis. Any Anytime he brings up a statistic, it's some made-up bullshit number. And every time he tries to make a point about women or, or the psychology he's just wrong okay don't base your life around sex okay D just be a good person eventually you'll find someone that'll that'll care about you but um yeah i hope you hope you enjoyed because i didn't bye